driving to Vermont from New York, like me, you'll notice that the air is crisper and the views are greener seconds after you cross the state line. Hidden away in the scenery is a true baker's paradise. Norwich, Vermont. I came here to take a class at King Arthur Flower Factory, but it turns out that the rest of this town is pretty adorable. First things first, I gotta check into my inn. The Norwich Inn uh, was built in 1797 by a Dartmouth graduate by the name of Jasper Murdoch. You know, being over 225 years old, it has a lot of uh, unusual things about it, including a, a, an alleged ghost by the name of Ma Walker. I think I'm gonna explore the town before my class. Everyone's telling me to stop by Dan and Wits, a general store. Their motto is, if we don't have it, you don't need it. That sounds about right. This place is endless. Okay, I'm off to learn some crucial life skills at King Arthur. My name is Wilhelm Wonders and I'm the pastry manager here at King of the Flower Bakery. On any day we bake about two to three hundred baguettes for example, um, up to a thousand or more ciabatta rolls. Uh, pastries are going to be around 250 or so, so it kind of depends on the weekday. On the weekends we are much busier than during the week. Controlled chaos would be the vibe, uh, you know, we are all in a pretty good mood. It's always kind of busy, you know, even when we're not busy, we're kind of busy. <laughs> the baked goods here are like grand, museum-worthy works of art, but edible. I might have to try a little something before my class, you know, for research. Today I'm learning to make quiche, donut holes, and brioche. Three things I've never made before because they seemed super hard. Uh-oh, is this gonna work? I am no Wilhelm. But while kneading and mixing away, I met bakers at all levels, trying to improve their skills or learn new ones. They came from all over the country. Okay, get in there. Really scared, don't want to mess this up. That's a lot of butter. I wouldn't mind taking a bath in cinnamon and sugar either. Guess what? I made brioche, and it was really good. I can't wait to try this at home. I'm gonna go celebrate my newfound kitchen confidence with some craft beer. Pour me your finest, Joe. We would like to have the little stories around each one of the beers that we make here. One is called Norwich IPA. Not Norwich, which is what people from out of town call our town. And so we like to have a little local color in everything we do. Okay, got it. But how about that IPA? Mm. It, it's very crisp and, and has a little bit of bite to it like right. an IPA right. does. It reminds me of like the beer version of a cream soda. That was a pretty great way to end my already awesome day. Thanks, Norwich. You are one sweet town. <laughs>